Hey, I got a, a, a lesson review for my friend William. He asked about a song by Styx called Renegade. And uh, I don't have a transcription for it, but I was able to at least get a little skeleton of the riff. It's a lot of threes and fives on the fifth string and fourth string. It's going to be start on the fifth string and do three five. <laughs> In the fourth string, three, five. Back to the fifth string. These are a little quicker. Yeah. So you do the same thing twice, but the timing's a little different. So it's. Hear it? Da, 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 da. Yeah. So it's threes and fives. One more time, here I go. And from the beginning. So basically, it's, let's just check how many phrases you got. We'll call that the first phrase, second phrase, third phrase, and last phrase. If you divided it into little chunks. I'd definitely be picking down up too. Watch my picking hand. Down up. Next string down up. Back to down up. And down up. And. The last two notes, I like to do down strokes. All right, let's play it together. One, two, ready, go. song seems to be in the key of G minor. So to play the soloing, you'd want to know your G minor pentatonic scale or blues scale. They're just about the same thing. Let's uh, do the first string 6-3, pinky index. Cool. Memorize that. That's a B flat G. Second string is F D, same frets, 6-3. Same thing. Let's do them again. All right. Learn that. Practice it. Memorize it. And let's add a little more. Let's go to third string and do a 5-3. And let's end on a 5 on the fourth string put it all together, this is what I think you should practice. That's 6-3, six, 6-3, three, six, three, five, three, 5 One extra note you can mess around with is a 3 on the 4th string. So your job is to experiment with those notes and practice them and come up with something new or something old but just make it sound cool. So I gave you uh, some papers uh, or some PDFs relating to the G minor pentatonic scale. If you review those, you'll you'll be able to see exactly what notes to practice. And that's just a great scale. It's pretty, you know, it's laid out pretty clearly to see. Uh, the main thing is just dig in, play it, and memorize it, and then play it some more and start coming up with new sounds, like the bends you can do. How about this? That's the third string, fifth fret bending that way. I'm using my ring finger reinforced with the middle. I'm going to lift that note up. 
like this. I also let it down. That sounds kind of cool. So it can go up and down. <laughs> That's cool, isn't it? It's just part of the scale. That's the first bend I would memorize. Yeah, man, you know those notes. So that's just 5-5, uh, five, five, 3, 5, 3, 5. Let me know if you need any more information on that. I'm going to cut this short, and uh, I'll do one for the other song we worked on.